Here we have smooth sumac. It's in the family Anacardiaceae, the genus Ruis, and the specific epithet is glabra. So Ruis glabra is the species name. It's a more of a shrub, occasionally a single stem tree, but that's fairly unusual. Typically you'll see it as a mass planting that spreads via its root system and you'll get lots of clumps of this together. It needs full sun, so if anywhere shaded out, you'll tend to see it moving away from that area into the full sun. Let's take a closer look at its other characteristics. It does branch out, and the twigs and branches are fairly stout. As you can see, even the newest twig is fairly thick. It is alternately arranged, so a leaf, a leaf, alternating as it moves its way up the stem. And this part of the stem or twig is smooth, so lacking any sort of hair to it at all. Here's a leaf scar. You can see the leaf scar goes almost entirely around the bud, and the bud is actually hidden just inside the base of the petiole. This white little structure here is actually the bud, and the dark black around it is the leaf scar. You can see that it has a pinnately compound leaf, so a rachis going all the way up the center with individual leaflets attached directly to the rachis. A nice dark green above and fairly bright or light green underneath. Here is the flower, and actually this is done flowering and now is setting the seed or the fruit to it. It's these red and dark red little um, berry-like structures, and they're fairly sweet, or kind of sweet and tart. And you can make a tea, you can eat them right off the plant, or you can steep them into a tea, which is what indigenous peoples would have used this plant for. Stepping back a little bit, you can see the full extent of smooth sumac. They form sort of a mass of planting. These can escape into places you don't want them uh, if you don't keep the area maintained. They will, as I noted earlier, spread through the root system.